Hello, I'm Namakao Mkelawai. Welcome to IDC Insights. This is a program that profiles the Industrial Development Corporation's investments and subsidiaries in the group. Now, the IDC is the commercial investment arm of the Zambian government. It has a dual mandate. On the one hand, to spearhead industrialization by investing in four priority sectors that have the potential to spur wealth and job creation and also value addition. The other mandate is to supervise state-owned enterprises that are incorporated under the Companies Act with a profit motive. And so in the next 13 weeks, I'll take you on a journey into the insights of what the IDC is doing to transform state-owned enterprises in order to enhance economic activities, especially in rural areas. Our first journey takes us to the Muchinga province, where we visit Zampalm, a company that produces crude palm oil. Now, this is the turn off to Kanchiria. It's about 90 kilometers from here. Going north is Kasama, and 10 kilometers back was Mpika. So it's going to take us about two hours from here. 16 kilometers before we get to Zampalm is Chief Kofa's Palace. So we're going to have to make a stop over there and just give, uh, just pay courtesy call on the chief. So, Wadi lenga, chocha kwa kopa, ukuchinja. Chocha kwa kopa, nde mwona, nalaba ila papata chimo, chilinga, kumasa mbililo. Chocha kwa kopa, afyashi wa mchalu mwono, vade filo kutu alaba sami, avana vavo, kumasukuru. Mwendo kubudilwa, apa kuma, ukuboko, mwendo ilo atuma mkwe. Now, yutuwa sasu mishaba za mpamu, kukuisa mchalu cha kwa kopa, Establish <laughs> Muno mchalu makopa, nyo kwete mfienga nda ya malata nini. Na kuna ya bagri kachi hapo, na ya batiicha. Nimaata tuwa le mwona kofi. This time mkusa kwa za mpamu, abantu na wakula ama ya nda, aya malata. Standard isu masana, ni mina mwona wana yu mwachala pita. Na tu mwona yu kwa isu. Ichi, chintu chungo chile, chile sekisha wekala chalu wakwa kopa. Pantu na bafuma kubuika shuba leka hukale. Finch mwingewa ama royal highnesses vambi muma chiefdom ziambi. Tuikati la kumpanga. Pantu ipanga ka ishikuwe te ifintifu o ifotilese kelamo. Impanga ka ishiri fotifu ya mguti la nishi tatuisho chotilejita. Lesa ilo apanga ichalo avika kuna impanga. Avika kuna mwishiri. Alefu wa wifo kukuti tu. So we're now en route to Zampam. We've just passed Chief Copper's area. Zampam is uh, southeast of Lake Banguelu swamps and uh, 100 kilometers from the Mpika town. To be specific, 90 kilometers from the Kasama turnoff. Now we've been on this gravel road for about two hours now. 
So you can imagine a stretch of about 90 kilometers has taken us two hours. We're almost there, so hang in there. Zampalm is one of IDC's projects. The IDC acquired the oil plantation in 2018. It has 90% shares, while the other 10% is retained by Zambif. Now, what is unique about Zampalm is that the outgrower scheme, which is a growth strategy business model that the IDC pioneered, was actually pioneered and launched here at Zampalm in 2019. Now, Zampalm is the first and largest oil plantation of its kind in Zambia. I'm Namakao Mkelabai, and this is Zampalm. David, when was the uh, uh, Zampalm established? Um, Zampalm was established in 2008, mm -hmm. but our first planting was in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when we we started our planting. Uh, where we are here, this is uh, the plantation we call 2012 planting. We now are at our ninth uh, planting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's so 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 this one is. So this one is 2010. This is 20. This is 2012. 2012. Um, okay. As you can see, we they are in yielding. We've uh -huh. been harvesting since 2016. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this one uh -huh. is a new flush, uh -huh. and it indicates that uh, we're going to have a bigger harvest in, uh, in in December and January next year. So what 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 has brought that about? We are practicing uh, following precision fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're following uh, mulching to conserve moisture. Right. As you can see, there. Uh, this is a mulch. Which one? This is plastic. You the plastic seen? here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this. Yeah. Okay. What we do with this one, because we don't want to lose uh, fertilizer. So mm -hmm. what we do is, we uh, apply fertilizer a single dose. Mm -hmm. Then we cover. It means that that fertilizer will not. Uh, will be washed away by excess rains. Okay. When we go into the dry uh, season, it conserves moisture. It also controls weeds. As you can see, there are no weeds around there yeah. to, to subsist on the, on the fertilizer. How long does it take from nursery uh, until harvest? The nursery uh, is for 24 months, which is like two years. Right. From two years, we bring them to the field. Okay. In the field, by the third year or th uh, three and a half, mm -hmm. it will start yielding. Uh, you start having smaller bunches and so on. Uh -huh. uh, so you start harvesting from fourth year, and on the same tree, you'll be harvesting for the next 25 to 30 years. 25 years from just one tree? One tree. David, why the plantation here uh, in Kanchibia area? Why not um, a big area, say in Mumbua or Lusaka? Can these palms grow anywhere? Um, if you are just growing them as trees, they can grow anywhere. But uh, the reason why uh, the plantation is here, it's because uh, this plantation is very unique. Uh, uh, you see that where we are, this plantation is located in the Bangweuru grassland. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, purposefully situated here. Number one, you want to be environmentally friendly. You don't want to cut trees. Mm -hmm. And so oh. there's no deforestation. Oh. Rather, there's a forestation. The other aspect is that the, this land has not been used for other agricultural purposes. 
this added value to this area yes this is a high rainfall area uh, you need high rainfall to support the growth uh, other than that it can grow elsewhere particularly if you are also uh, engaged in irrigation yeah. uh, how many hectares because I know it sits on 20,000 hectares uh, how many hectares have you planted so far well so far we have planted um, 3,000 600 hectares of this plantation and um, we are harvesting from 2,800 hectares so it's more than half that's where we have um, we have been harvesting we started harvesting in 2016 mm -hmm. and uh, so far we have seen our um, yields go up you'll be uh, you know that the uh, right now our average harvest per hectare is about four tons right or for fresh fruit these uh, fruits you are saying in one hectare we have now reached four tons per hectare others which we are uh, in like the 2015 plantation already it is in 1.6 tons per hectare those are significant numbers mm. and uh, it means in the next uh, three to four years we may have uh, to increase even our milling capacity from what we have right now to 10 ton per hour meal uh, which is very very significant for this plantation mm -hmm. Now, Zampam has over 300 permanent employees and about 400 seasonal workers. So today I'm going to speak to one of those who's been here since inception in 2008. Her name is Wanampundu. Hello, Wanampundu. Hello. Hello. Wanampundu. Now, what's he? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to more 2008. What's your name? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to as what? Which flow? Which flow? Now they are general work. Eh. Then you come up and continue. You want to supervise the abantu? Eh. You come up and say, "Wa the nan charge and." After charge and, you want to say, "Wa the supervise." Mhm. Eh. So you want to say, "Wa the supervise." Mhm. Eh. So you want to say, "Wa the supervise." Mhm. Eh. So you want to say, "Wa the supervise." Mhm. Ah, in Aisanga, we feel good on sheep and different entities. I know in Zambia, we feel different colors. Sad. Quite. Now, Aisanga, we share more about another before. Okay. Eh, we're going to share more about another. Uh huh. Eh, we're going to talk about approach. Go, 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 pa. We're going to, we're going to go to Zambia. We're going to go to Nairobi. We're going to go to Nairobi. at the oil mill this is our oil mill uh, when we harvest the fruit is brought here as you can see it is weighed and uh, then we start processing this is where we uh, we process our crude palm oil mm -hmm. and what you are looking at is a uh, an oil mill capacity of a two ton per hour meal mm -hmm. uh -huh. this meal was installed in 2015 and was commissioned in 2016 so we've been processing uh, our oil from here. This from here, we now take it to the market. Yeah. Um, has the production uh, capacity improved from the time that the IDC took over? Well, the production has uh, uh, increased. In fact, starting from last year, we saw an increment in our fruit. So that translated into improved um, our production. And what we have here is that we have now reached to the level where we need improving our milling capacity. Meaning that we need to uh, add another line of a mill that will uh, accommodate the increased uh, uh, production. Um, Zambia derives most of its edible oils from soya beans, uh, cotton and sunflower. Mm -hmm. Is there really a big demand for oil palm? Yeah, um, 
in the manufacturing of uh, uh, cooking oil, you need a component of crude palm oil. You should know that uh, we do import crude palm oil. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why this plantation was set up. So that we can cut on the uh, importation of crude palm oil. Crude palm oil is not just for a cooking manufacturing of cooking oil. You, you also uh, make margarine out of it, uh, soap. You make soap out of uh, crude palm oil. You, you can also make lotion and candles and so on. Those are the products that you can get derived from crude palm oil. Take us through the process. We, we saw the, um, the tractor come through yeah. and we saw them offloading. Yeah. Um, I know recently you talked about um, nothing goes to waste here. Yeah. Take us through the process. Well, when we receive our fruit, we wait and uh, after weighing it because there's a relationship between the initial weight and the oil that you get at the end mm -hmm. and that shows your efficiency the efficiency of uh, um, the, the, the the processing plant mm. and so we have a target factored in there to say when we put in one ton of fruit we're supposed to get uh, 200 uh, kg of oil right. so that would be our target but then what is uh, from there you get we get the stripped uh, bunches mm -hmm. uh, and those we use them we take them back into the field as mulch the fiber we take it back into the field as a uh, as mulch the nut the nut which is in there is uh, also is of economic value right now we are bulking them mm -hmm. we are hoping that uh, we can have a buyer for the nuts so that they can crush there's also oil mm -hmm. inside so there's nothing that is wasted mm -hmm. in this process our target is that by the year 2024 mm -hmm. we should contribute uh, 10 percent to the national demand right. of edible oil. Kuno kwa kopa na ishire mo na intini ya itena ini. Ari kwa tako grocery nda shito tuwa grocery. Adi wa ya patari patari. Kuno na ari kwa tani mioto kani kwa tama traki ya vili. Pazam pamuvali leto wia nda shikwa kopa. Na ba fusha inda lama. Akale takwa rindalama. Mm -hmm. Nomba ino shita, tule kwa ten dalama ishi ingisa nanga bafola. Okay. So, no business yesu, na iya pantanshi. Mm -hmm. Wazampa mwala mpira kwenye chito ndeba sendira kwa mapamu. Kula salanganya mwenche ndesha pusana pusana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ichire ngrati inkule nganda, ni wazampa mwala. Following the launch of the outgrowth scheme by His Excellency the President, Mr. Edgar Chagualungu, over 500 households have benefited from the scheme, with another 800 households expected to be registered in the coming planting season. So far, 326 hectares of palms have been planted, while 400 hectares is being targeted for the 2020-2021 rainy season. Nelson Vasalide, general manager of the Oil Palm Outgrowers Company, attributes the huge interest in the outgrowers scheme to the support of the local leadership. But I've seen that uh, the interest into, in the outgrower system uh, scheme has increased mm. because their Royal Highness Senior Chief Copa, Chief Kavinga, Chief Ruchembe have been very supportive. Since His Excellency launched the program here, the leaders, the traditional leaders have been very supportive. Mm -hmm. And I see this scheme, this program expand 
even to other provinces. Also, now I'm, I'm very curious. I want to meet um, some of the farmers. Would like to meet some of the farmers. Yes. Uh, just to have a first-hand impression, and um, I just want to hear from them how this whole project has actually uh, benefited them. Where we are is uh, <laughs> Mr. Winter's plantation. <laughs> Barishan Mkwai. Twice some leader Barishan Mkwai. Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah, I'm a palm trees. Ni mbona mkweta ma palm trees. I had four. I think four or five. Ye na ya kalamba. Ye na mwa mwa biere Luisa. Ma palm na biere 2012. Eh, mo January. Ro na biere ma palm wa ya tu ya pokelefi. Tatu aishi bena nguchi mo kute ati. Tu ya pokelefi ngea. My flowers are permanent. Mm -hmm. So no we are at the two a mulain pantatua chi be much mm -hmm. So number every number two she mona quashi de tampocula quata fashi de tampo quata ma bunches number. It over from whenever company by she I am a farm we are the winner son. To she am book pela of a company ama ama palm it of arm be number nine. But at Pedagoka no no. So nice and natural, and at home, it's chin to Kanshan. What did you say about the tea? Vala, Pokenchi, and the Vala station, Kanshaya, my palm to a lacquer with that number to station. To the Mayang, to a quiet shoe, to a son, what I could about to grow and a queen, I could be a valley for that. I believe for our pay, so could the Mamma Pam, Kutiva, Vaya could about to grow. Nena, the more face no queer than the shine, Pendua, Yama Pam, a Yama Pam Quena, Bamwenem Quay. My winter. It's in the chimney, a chaff in a sun, eh? Um, Nelson, I think Nelson, this, this could be about um, uh, 30 to 40 cages. I'll try to. Let's try it together. Let's try it together, Nelson. Let's go together. Ah, but at least the struggling is a good part, huh? The struggling. Wow. 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 The ultimate target is to have 5,000 families participating. Can you imagine uh, what you saw? A single bunch can be sold at close to 100 kwacha. So from one tree, if there are six bunches, that is close to 600 kwacha. So one tree, 600 kwacha. 10 trees, 6,000 kwacha. A hundred trees, <laughs> sixty thousand kwacha. True. And that is a tremendous uh, yes. amount of income to a rural uh, household. So that is the impact we are seeing far ahead. Zampalm is not only fulfilling its objective of making Zambia self-sufficient in the production of edible oils, it is also touching and transforming lives in rural Zambia. That's it. That's our program for today. For more information about the IDC, please do visit our website or our Facebook page. Till our next journey, bye-bye.